Video is dominating classrooms for a good reason. It captures the attention like nothing else. But what if you could take that engagement further by turning any YouTube video into an interactive quiz that keeps students thinking, not just watching the video. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to use AdCafe AI to turn any YouTube video into a quiz. First things first, to create the AI quiz, we're going to be using the free tool EdCafe AI. EdCafe is an AI-powered platform designed to help educators create engaging, personalized learning experiences. It can help simplify their lesson planning, content creation, and even student assessments. So to get started, head over to edcafe.ai and you can log in, sign up, and create your free account. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to have access to all of EdCafe's features and we'll be ready to create our YouTube quiz. To create our YouTube quiz, we'll click on Create New and click on that YouTube quiz tool. From here, we can paste in our YouTube video link. So I have a video pulled up here about modern art, so we can just grab this video URL and paste it in here. Do note that you do have to have a video with closed captions, that just means it has a transcription. So from there, now we can add in a little bit more personality to our quiz. So you can see that you can select your question type and the number of questions, and then you can add any additional instructions. So for these additional instructions, let's go ahead and do these. So we want to ensure that the questions don't focus solely on memorizing the facts, but also encourage critical thinking and personal interpretation for our students. So we want to include any questions that relate to artwork's themes, to students' experiences, some symbolism, and connect that artwork to real life contacts. So this will push our students to think critically and integrate what they've watched in the video Video, rather than just recalling facts and memorizing what they saw in the video. So once that's done, you can also specify your student level. Let's do fourth grade here, and then you can select your output language. Then we can select generate and AdCafe AI will begin generating our questions. So once AdCafe is done generating, you can see that we have up to 10 questions and we have those additional instructions that we included. So we have um, a question here about symbolism. So you guys are safe to know that those additional instructions will be included. And you can also add any additional questions if any is missing. So let's go ahead and add in a short answer question. That way we have a bit of a mix. For the short answer question, let's just ask about abstract art. And instead of having to type our suggested answer here, we can actually press tab and AI will read our question and then generate that suggested answer for us so that way students can review it after they take the quiz. And that's it for the setup process. Let's give it a save so that way we can share it with our students. So you can use AI to give your file a name and then save it in your AdCafe AI library. Let's create a different folder here for our fourth grade class. That way you have easy access in the future when you want to share it with your students again. Once your quiz is saved, we can then share it with our students. That way they can watch the video and take the quiz we just created. So here you can see that we can export it as a hard copy if you want to share it with students that way, or we can share it digitally by clicking on this assign key. So here we can either integrate it into your Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, or embed it into your LMS, or we can have them either scan the QR code or just copy this link and share this link with them. That way they can open it up on their browser. So once they open up on their device, they can add in their name. Let's just do a name here. And then you can see that they can watch the video on the side here and then take the questions. So you can do this all at their own pace, whether synchronously or asynchronously. So let's go ahead here and just do a couple of questions. So that way we can fill out this quiz. And we have to make sure we do all of the questions before we submit. So there we go, we have all. And when we click submit, students will get that percentage score here at the top with a personalized summary of their assessment. Then they can go through and review all of their responses. You can see that there also is an explanation about each question. That way, if they did get it wrong or correct, they can learn a little bit more about the question. In, in the same way with those short answer questions, students' writing will be assessed on the spot as well. As you can see, we have that suggested answer, but also some AI feedback based on the student's response. 
When your students have completed the quiz, you as the teacher can review their responses right away as well. So EdCafe gives you detailed analytics that shows you how well each student did here in this responses tab. So you can review as a whole class to be able to see which questions students struggled with and where they excelled. So you can review all of these questions. Feel free to also click on any of these bar graphs to see who chose which option. And then you can also review individually as well. So here you'll be able to click on each one of your students and see their feedback and percentage score. This data is really great to help you pinpoint exactly where students might need some more reinforcement or other areas to help them improve or where they've got all that knowledge down pat. So you can use this data to adjust this quiz or even create new ones since it's already saved in your EdCafe AI library. So it makes it really easy to adjust for the future. That way you can help and keep improving your students' learning outcomes. Did you know that you can create quizzes with documentaries or movies too, not just videos you find on YouTube? Let me show you how to do it also in EdCafe. Let's say we have a documentary in mind. Since we're going along with our art theme, we have a documentary about Bob Ross. So we'll just need to take this title along with the year that it was made and our director. And from here, let's go back into EdCafe and click on create new. Like I said, it is super similar, so we'll just click on the quiz version this time. And in our topic tab here, instead of our file, our web page, our text, in topic, we can just add in our title of that documentary, that director, along with the year that it was made. And just like with the YouTube quiz, you can add in your question type, your number of questions, along with any additional instructions that you want to include for this quiz based on your video. Then after adding in student level, we can generate the quiz. So Ad Cafe will do some research on that documentary and come up with those questions for you. So we have um, some questions about different themes in the documentary along with other questions that can be scrolled through and taken a look at. So this version of our quiz creation is an incredibly versatile tool. That way you can use it with all kinds of videos to make your lessons a little bit more dynamic and interactive for your students. And that's it. Turning any YouTube video into a quiz is that simple with EdCafe AI. By using AI to create those personalized quizzes, you can save time on grading and planning while keeping your students engaged and learning. Ready to try it out? Head over to EdCafe AI to start creating those quizzes and let AI do the heavy lifting for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more tips on how EdCafe AI can transform your teaching experience. Thanks for watching.